So, online there was a listing for a Yieldies semi-auto shotgun with the grassland camouflage. And they had it offered up at Academy Sports and Outdoors. And normal price was $429.99. And they had $130 knocked off for the Black Friday sale. You can see right there, my retail price that I paid was 300 bucks after taxes, $324.74. So let's go ahead and do an unboxing video on this guy and pop it open and see what it looks like. For starters, the box isn't just a plain old box. They actually put a little bit of a finish on it. And Yieldies shotguns, they generally are known for making great over and under shotguns. My father has one, my brother-in-law has one. I'm not too big into over and unders. I'm sure I will purchase one someday, but I really enjoy semi-autos and it's so much nicer than shooting the pumps that I grew up shooting. So I'm gonna go ahead and get down under here. The tape's already been cut. Let's go ahead and grab this guy. All right, let me slide it back here. See if I can get this lifted up. Check that out, folks. And give you a nice close up look in this guy right out of the box. Man, this thing is pretty. That's cool. It's got some little some air vents for the mechanism, the inertia gas mechanism. This thing is fully wrapped in this, I think it might be mossy oak camo, that grass pattern. And I just love it. I think this is gonna be a great, um, great extra shotgun to have in the collection. So um, looks like we have four chokes. I'm seeing one, two, three, and four. And got our barrel here. Looks like we have our choke wrench for tightening the chokes into the tube. We have our plug if you're hunting in an area that you need to restrict your loads. And then I'm not too sure, I guess this is, looks like it's some type of cushion of some kind or not sure what that is, but you get two of them. Not sure what those are, but Anywho, let me go ahead and start pulling this guy out. Uh-oh. <laughs> Thankfully, I didn't drop this piece. Let me get it back up here. So, after recovering it, after falling off the desk here, um, saw the user manual pop out of it. Um, you know, feels like it's of decent quality. Um, has the layout. Like it has some uh, some good information, shows you how to snip it together and all that good stuff. So for those that want to give that a read, go for it. So the main unit, fully intact here, fresh out of the box. Blow out some of those styrofoam pieces. But let's go ahead and unscrew the cap here. really ratchety, very noisy. It's quiet. Set that down. Pull this off. Make sure that I'm blowing out any extra pieces. Looks like it has a couple of little studs here to line up. Got some more uh, styrofoam in there, so want that getting jammed in there and collecting a bunch of bunch of uh, gunpowder residue. Go. 
ahead and put our four grip on. up smoothly on there we go got that and I don't want it to be crazy tight I want to leave it with a little bit of play so that way any crazy action on this four stock doesn't cause any breakage but the release button is isn't too hard to press down my brother-in-law has a, a grassland pattern ata semi-auto that shoots three and a half inch shells this is the yieldies magnum it only shoots up to three inch shells so you can shoot two three quarters and three inch shells in this guy um, the release button for the action is down right here on the bottom just above the edge of the trigger guard here. This seems to be of some type of high impact polymer, some type of hard resin plastic. Doesn't feel like it's metal. But let me let you guys take a closer look at this. So after awkwardly getting it slapped together, you can see this guy, the full length. It's got a 28 inch barrel on it. The front side is not a fiber optic side. It's just a standard bead side. Just a little bead on the end there. It doesn't look too shiny either. Not very, not too fancy. But man, I've been wanting to grab one of these grassland pattern semi-autos just because I am somewhat of a camo nut. But I think this is uh, this is going to be a great shotgun to have in the works. It does seem to be a little bit more complex when it comes to the internals and the inertia gas system with the spring. The Hatfield model that I have is the only other semi-auto that I have. And uh, I purchased that about a little over four years ago when they had it on sale at Walmart for a couple hundred bucks. So when I saw this guy and they listed it on their website i thought man this would be this would be nice to have as well so 130 dollars off that is hard to beat cannot complain what you think about that Wooda? that's a good deal right so hopefully this is uh, going to be something we'll snag a lot of birds with uh, we'll use this for just about anything hopefully we'll run some shells through it and see how it does but I wanted to give my impressions and do a little unboxing video on it, but got some nice etching in the uh, the buttstock here. Seems like it's relatively thick. It's not too, doesn't sound too hollow and uh, it's not too heavy. Um, feels like it's a good, it's a nice comfortable weight. Let me see if I can just get this camera steady and let you guys see what you'd be getting if you decide to grab one of these as far as the looks and the finish looks like this um, rubber buttstock pad is uh, doesn't really feel too soft it's kind of almost feels like hard plastic on the edge here and then it has like a little gel pad of some sort right on the back of it so I don't know that doesn't look super comfortable at first but the great thing about these semi-autos is that they do not kick nearly as hard as your standard pump or your over and unders. You're not going to receive the full blunt force of that shell when it exchanges. So that is something that <clears throat> I really do like about semi-autos is the fact that you don't beat up your shoulder when you're out there shooting in the field all day. But man, this thing, it is cool. It sure does look pretty. Got the Yieldies brand there, up on the barrel. You guys can see it has the company name. It says it a uh, camo, it's the A71 camo, 12 gauge and it's a three inch Magnum. So uh, should be able to handle two and three quarter inch shells, I hope. Not just three inch, you should be able to 
shoot just about any target loads or dove loads out of this. And um, if you guys have seen my channel, dove hunting is something that I really do enjoy. And um, that's something that she enjoys as well. So uh, hopefully we'll be getting some birds with this, but um, we'll go ahead and grab a choke. I'll probably go with the, uh, probably gonna toss the full choke in there and uh, see what type of patterns we get at about 30 yards with it. So um, let me lay this back down. Just one last sweep over of this pretty thing. And it has these two little vent holes, which I thought was kind of nifty. So maybe that helps with the gas exchange, gives it also a little bit more of an aggressive look, like you got some, some hood vents. But this material, the, the finish that they put on this, I hope it, uh, I hope it handles and uh, is pretty durable over, over the years, because I like to keep my guns for a long, long time. Down there on the very bottom, you can see there's that little release button there. So if you lock back the action and you're ready to cycle it again, you can just click down on that. <clears throat> Let me breach the chamber open real quick. The action lock back. Let you guys take a glance in there. So here you guys can see a little bit better look at that gel pad that I'm talking about it has that plastic frame that it kind of wraps around. So, I mean, that thing is very thin. Um, so I'm not really liking that, but also another thing to note is it has this janky little plastic uh, sling stud. There's um, nothing metal there. So that looks like something that could easily break or chip off. The other sling stud is right there on the front and you can see it, it's a metal sling stud but then it swivels into a little plastic slot frame. So um, hopefully that holds up. But the finish on this uh, mossy oak shadow grass sure is nice. There isn't any ridges where you can see where it kind of like where it wrinkles up at all or anything, but. Oh, I guess it comes with, well, I guess it comes with five chokes. Looks like they already got one in there and it has a lot of notches. So more of that styrofoam, not sure what that one is, but once again, you can see that front bead sight they didn't make it shiny. I guess they just kind of kept it a green color. Put a little bit of spray paint on there or something. But yeah, all in all, this looks like a pretty swell shotgun. I'm excited to put it through its paces and see what it can do. We have our safety right here on the trigger guard. Not too hard to push in. Just a little plastic switch there. Not much to it. And um, I was saying my brother-in-law, he has an ATA that I was playing around with during a pheasant hunt that we had not too long ago. We posted a kind of fun video up on there. It's a real cool place that we went up to in Kansas called Spear Point Ranch. And I was messing with his ATA Magnum, Super Magnum, if I'm not mistaken, that shoots up to three and a half inch shells. And the release button he had on that thing, gosh, you really had to push into it and dig into it with your thumb. It really hurts your fingertips just to push on that release button to, to cycle around and, and, and chamber chamber one of the shells. So um, one thing that was, that was the first thing I tested whenever I grabbed the display model is I went ahead and I worked the action real quick and hit that release to see how hard it was going to be. And it's fairly comfortable. It doesn't take much pressure. But one thing I do not like to do with these guns is if it does not have rounds in the magazine and we're not actively shooting it, I generally don't like to dry slam it where it's just, I usually just catch it with my finger here whenever it's empty like this, free and clear. And I try to hold it a little bit before it cycles up. That way I'm not banging it around too much, but hopefully we can get this thing broken in and run some shells. My buddy's doing some duck hunts these days. We're at the end of November, so duck season is still very much on. But 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick unboxing video. It was very simple. Like I said, you get those four chokes. So I'm gonna grab one of those and toss it in there. But I'm gonna try and leave it at that, guys. Get you one of these Yieldies A71s camos. I don't see hardly any videos up about these camo models. They have some pretty nifty looking ones with some wood stocks on them on YouTube, but um, I'm excited to see how this does. I would imagine it's not much different, but thanks for taking the time to watch. If you guys like the channel, feel free to subscribe. If not, no worries. Hope you have a great rest of your week, whatever it might be. Take it easy, fellas. Bye-bye.